Same deal. I'll ask the first question and open it up to uh, everybody else. Uh, sort of the same question as the other two. Take us through that uh, that final restart. You got a great jump and uh, what happened? Yeah, uh, the 99 car was playing games big time. I, I'd seen him, he did it to restart before that and just bottled up the field. And uh, he, he's done that a lot. I've raced him over the years and uh, he plays games on restarts a lot. Now I waited until I got to the line. When I hit that line, I, I went. So, uh, you know, it was uh, it was pretty cool. You know, I knew I knew he'd probably try to pull something like that and uh, try to get us in trouble. But uh, I knew I was at my spot when I gassed it up. Uh, Lee, you uh, were not in the top three, top four for much of the second half of the race there. Uh, How did you feel about your car and did you feel confident at that 10 lap restart? In the last uh, four or five years we've had a shot to win a race here and every year I feel like I've got the winning car, I've been wrecked or something crazy has happened. Uh, the two years I've won it I didn't have a winning car and did and, and got it done. So uh, it's pretty wild. They say the best car never wins here in Martinsville and it's just a tough race man. you got to be at the right place at the right time. I made the wrong adjustments at halfway. Uh, I felt like I was going to be too free, and as the sun come down, the track tightened up, and I just couldn't roll the center. And the 26 car jacked me up pretty good one time and, and, and bent, the, bent the left rear wheel pretty bad, and 31 got me too. So we were getting beaten, bang, and every time I'd get fifth or sixth, somebody would, would jack me 90 degrees and go back to seventh, eighth, ninth. And I just, just had to keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, and finally we were able to, to get up there with a head position. And does that make a win even more rewarding? It does. This is uh, this was the hardest fault win out of the two for sure. Um, 2011, we, we were second place car, and, and, and most of them called out the way on the last corner. But this win, uh, we were fourth and fifth place car after halfway, and I was doing everything I could do, and uh, I'd burned both tires off the off the right side, and just uh, just giving it everything I had. We had a little bit of luck there, um, just right place, right time. Does this take a little bit of the sting away from not getting that third straight national championship in the All-American Series to walk away with this big win? In my eyes, we won it. I don't care what the paper says. A lot of toward up cars here tonight and today. Uh, how's yours? Reasonable, reasonable shape? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the right side's beat up on it a little bit. We uh, got quite a bit of crush panels, rocker panels to fix on it. So, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. We, it's good old Martinsville. And, uh, all in all, the car's in pretty good shape, you know, just got donuts down the side. You got some money and some time to fix it now, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this win's big for us. We, we've been working really hard. Really proud. We got GR Waldrop in the race today. His first, uh, he comes out of our shop his first time showing up here. I think he got a, about a 15th place finish, so I'm really happy for him, too. And just a lot of big things. We just built a new shop right in Alton, Virginia. A lot of cars coming out of it. We've been we've been busy, man. We we build everything but the chassis, and uh, it's uh, it's really rewarding when you be able to, to, to put it all together. New shop and a race wing. Can you talk about momentum going into next year? Uh, man, this team. Ever since I joined Traps and Eddie Kiker, it, it's been awesome. We've been strong, but uh, they they intensified our depth. You know, I went K and N racing for a while at the beginning of the year. We were really really good until we wrecked our, our good car at Bristol, and uh, you know, that was kind of a damper for me, but. You know, all in all, my heart's right here, short track racing, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's where it's at. You, you, you know everybody, everybody knows everybody, everybody's got their backs if something happens, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's hard to beat this kind of racing. Hey Lee, uh, talk about getting rooted around a time or two, Bassett got you, but uh, talk about the race with Philip Morris about halfway. Um, a lot of fans were on their feet during that altercation. Uh, yeah. You saw him in the rear view. Uh, thoughts on racing with Morris there? About yeah, how, I don't you know. You beat a lot of really good guys today <laughs> and a lot of old rivalries. Too. Yeah, he uh, he definitely had me jacked up 90 degrees in turn one and two. Don't know how he saved it. Um, I, I don't know what it was all about. I think he's just frustrated right now because he's a heck of a wheel man and his stuff just ain't running well right now. And uh, I guess that's the frustration coming out. But, you know, racing with him, he's a hard-nosed racer and he's not going to give you anything. But uh, I got news for him, I'm just hard nosed as he is. Can you talk about the adjustment? You said a halfway you messed up. I saw your guys reaching up inside the right front. I guess you're maybe messing with the you know the springs or something, but what, what was No, we made a track bar adjustment on the right rear. Uh, we were putting brake pads on the front of the car okay. just to have fresh brakes for the second half and uh, my guys did a phenomenal job. They about burnt their fingertips off but uh, they were digging so uh, got us some fresh brake pads on and uh, I just made a wrong adjustment on the track bar. Twenty-five thousand. You go party tonight or what? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I, I can't hardly talk right now. I hollered for about three three laps around that racetrack and uh, for for quite a few minutes as they was cleaning up the uh, the mess. But uh, 
Don Kowalski will probably about blow the motor up right there doing donuts, but uh, really don't care because it's probably going all to pieces right now anyway. <laughs> You've been